Hey there loves! Welcome back to my channel! This is Jean Castillo and I release videos in which I share my know-hows on the nitty-gritty of English and research. If you want to reinforce your learnings in these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. Previously, we already tackled the qualitative research characteristics and its differences with quantitative research. Now, I think you are already ready to move on to the next level as we discuss the qualitative research designs enumerated by Creswell 2012. The first qualitative research design is narrative. Narrative research studies the lives of individuals and asks one or more individuals to provide stories about their lives. In this qualitative research design, the researcher asks other people close to the subject being studied, may it be a family member, a colleague, a friend, or a loved one, to share his or her story. In turn, the researcher retells or restores the life story of the individual or of the subject by combining the viewpoint of the participant himself and that of the people close to him or her. Here are some examples. Life of a COVID survivor, life of a war veteran, life of a genius student who is accelerated from, let's say, elementary to senior high school or to college. The second qualitative research design is phenomenology. The researcher identifies the essence of human experience about a phenomenon as described by the participants. This highlights the lived experiences of a small number of participants about a certain phenomena for a prolonged engagement to develop patterns and relationships of meanings. In case the researcher encountered similar situation, he or she must set aside his or her own experiences so as to maintain the veracity and credibility of data collection. Examples of this are experiences of essential workers amidst COVID-19, experiences of vaccinated residents, and experiences of students in modular distance learning. Ethnography is the next qualitative research design. Researchers study an intact cultural group in a natural setting over a prolonged period of time by primarily collecting observational data. Creswell 2007 This kind of qualitative research requires the researcher to immerse himself or herself in the field where the particular group lives or resides. It documents the cultural beliefs, traditions, and lived realities of the group being studied. Examples are The Kankanis of the Lipay Batangas Binget by Lisa Dawanis and the Mamanwa Tribe in Las Navas, Northern Samar. The next qualitative research design is case study. Researcher explores in depth a program, event, activity, process, or one or more individuals. Cases are bounded by time and activity, and researchers collect detailed information using a variety of data collection procedures over a sustained period of time. Slake, 1995. This study usually involves extreme cases to investigate the root cause and provide intervention to especially address the problematic situation. It looks into the how and the why of a research problem. Case study about non-readers in junior high school, case study on eating disorder, and case study about children in a broken home are samples of this qualitative research design. Lastly, the grounded theory. This research derives a general, abstract theory of a process, action, or interaction grounded in the views of participants. It involves using multiple stages of data collection 
and the refinement and the interrelationships are categories of information. This qualitative research design involves building a theory through constant comparison of data to maximize the differences and similarities of information. Here are the sample topics. Grade school chain smokers, separated couples, and students who are magna nine years in college. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you study the qualitative research designs, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of our uploads. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for bearing with me once more despite the background noises. Bye!